Kelly picking it up. He's got two seconds. One mark. I think he's okay. I think Kelly timed it perfect. Now he's got to hustle up the back stretch so nobody gets in front of him and leapfrogs him. Bill walk laying back a little bit. I think he's just going to take lane two and make a flying start and try to get around Kelly that way. J. Michael Kelly appears to have secured the inside, moving up the backstretch in lane one. Dave Vilwalk moving up with a little bit of boat speed, now behind him. Then to his right, Mike Webster. And where did I lose? Mark Evans. He's out there in lane four. He's in the rooster tails. So all four boats are side by side going into the turn. They are lined up now. They are committed. J. Michael Kelly is going to have the inside. Will he be able to hold off Dave Vilwalk to his right in lane two in perhaps the world's fastest race boat? Well, we will see. Kelly will have the inside. Dave Vilwalk swings it wide in lane two. Mike Webster had to move to the right a little bit to avoid him. And then Mark Evans on the outside. Now the run down to start finish. Four, three, two, one. Mark, it's a legal start, and it's Mark Evans across the line first, way on the outside. Now watch what the veteran does when he gets down to the bridge. Will he pinch the field, or will he still be ahead at that point? All four boats screaming into the turn. On the inside, J. Michael Kelly is the first to turn left, but he has a lot of speed to his right, and it's Phil Walk by about a boat length through the turn with the lead. So Vilwalk got around him in the turn, but look at Kelly accelerate. He made a nice little move right there, and now Vilwalk picks it up. Now it's Dave Vilwalk out in lane two. The U96, Spirit of Qatar, is our leader, but Kelly really has the 88-degree men flying, has to settle it down a little bit as he got it walking right there. Back in third place, Mark Evans in the 57, FormulaBoats.com, and then Mike Webster in the 22. Webster's going to come up inside of Evans and try to take third place here in this turn, getting a chance to do some racing. Onto the front stretch for the first time. Vilwalk with a lead. Kelly came off the turn about a half a rooster tail back. Dave Vilwalk is our leader at the end of lap one, legging it out to almost a rooster tail lead over J. Michael Kelly and the 88 degree men. Then Mark Evans and Mike Webster coming by side by side in third and fourth place. Vilwalk into the turn now. He has an overlap. He can go inside if he wants. Kelly is going to get into some rough water on the inside, but it appears to be okay at the apex. Kelly's boat doing a nice job of handling the rough stuff. Didn't lose much speed in there in pursuit of Dave Vilwalk, which may be fruitless. He may be wise to just settle back into third place, except that he has some speed behind him. Mark Evans and Mike Webster both driving very well, and they are side by side in third place. A great race for third on the backstretch. Vilwalk is our leader into turn two for the second time. Kelly in pursuit is about two rooster tails back, and we have two boats absolutely side by side. You're looking at them on the back stretch. Mike Webster on the inside. Mark Evans on the outside into the turn. Two boats in one rooster tail. Vilwalk coming by to complete lap two. A big lead now over J. Michael Kelly. Has a couple of rooster tails on him. And look at Mike Webster getting a chance to do some racing here in the U-22. Great Scott presents campaign WSU. He has third place at the end of lap two. Mark Evans on his hip in the 57. FormulaBoats.com. And that race is not over. They're going to take it into the final lap before third place is decided here. A Vilwalk halfway up the back stretch. Not much doubt about the winner here. It's going to be another 400 points for our leader, Dave Vilwalk in the U96, Spirit of Qatar. Sheikh Hassan probably up in the middle of the night over in Qatar watching this, and your guy is going to win another one for you. J. Michael Kelly is going to take second. He has a half a lap to go in the 88 degree men. Then it's back a little bit to Mike Webster, who appears now to have perhaps won this confrontation. He's in third place, and he has a little bit of a lead over Mark Evans, but Evans is still running hard. That one's not decided yet. Here's the checkered flag for Dave Vilwalk, the 96. Spirit of Qatar, the winner of Heat 2C, picking up 400 points. J. Michael Kelly coming by in second place in the 88-degree man. Mike Webster is going to win the race with the veteran Mark Evans, the 22. Great Scott presents Campaign WSU. Go Cougs, a nice third place finish for Mike Webster. And Mark Evans comes by in fourth place. Sam Cole, sometimes the entertaining race is back in third and fourth place. And those two guys had a good one, didn't they? And I got to tell you, Mike Webster's got to be happy, happy, happy. He uh, has given that boat a run. Scott Carson and the whole team down there had struggled through some problems, came out here in that heat. And Mike Webster uh, showed people that as they get better, they're going to be a force to reckon with. And 
he and Mark Evans were just going at it. Forget about everybody else. We got a race of our own. I know. I know the Webster family and Scott Carson are going to be very happy with that run. The boat looked good. There are two penalties on Mark Evans: one in lap one, one in lap two. One is monetary, one is a class two and includes 50 points. So apparently they felt that he got a little too close to uh, Mr. Webster at some point. Going to cost him 50 bucks and 50 points perhaps, huh? 